Now then, if you want to become a magistrate, then you've certainly come to the right place. My name's Richard McMunn, and for this short presentation, I'm going to give you some very important tips that will help you to complete a successful magistrate application form. Now, first of all, one of the most important things to consider is, is this job for you? Because, as you can imagine, many people apply to become a magistrate without actually giving it some careful consideration. As I'm sure you can fully appreciate, the role is extremely important in society and with that naturally comes a high degree of responsibility. So there are a number of key important facts that you need to understand before you even think about applying. Why is that important? Well, basically because you will be assessed against your level of commitment during the selection process and that's not just on the application form but also during the first interview. Now the basic levels of commitment for becoming a magistrate involve 26 half days sittings per year, some reasonably substantial initial and then continuation training and also attending the occasional bench meeting with other magistrates. Now the 26 half day sittings per year may seem to be um, not that much. You, you might on um, first appearance think, yes, that's okay, I can easily manage 26 half day sittings, but the reality is that is quite a level of commitment. So I would seriously th sit down, speak to your family about this uh, level of commitment, and also you need to make sure that your employer, if you are still employed, will give you permission and allow you to leave so that you can actually achieve the basic level and remember it's just the basic level of commitment. So the second part is some reasonably substantial initial training. You will go through uh, an, an initial training period and then obviously in terms of continuous professional development you will have to go through a series of continuation training seminars and then obviously attending the occasional bench meeting. So there are some other factors that you should also consider. First of all, it's important that you stick with the dates which you will have agreed in advance as those when you will attend court. You should only ever cancel your sitting at the last moment in a real emergency because as you can imagine, the court must still run and replacement magistrates are not always available at short notice. Any cancelled sittings, you will need to make them up, but obviously you don't want to cancel sittings, as previously mentioned, unless it's in a real emergency. Now obviously there will be some cases that go part heard through to another day. Uh, you may need to come back to court for an extra sitting, and also contested hearings that last for more than half a day, and maybe even possibly several days. And there will be various special hearings of various kinds. There will also be the wider contributions you might care to make to the role, for example sitting on bench committees, youth or family work or sitting on appeals at the Crown Court and becoming a mentor or an appraiser of a JP colleague or two. So those are really important factors to consider. Now the selection process itself consists of an application form. Once you get through the application form part you'll go to a first interview. First interview, then the second interview, and then finally checks and references and your appointment where you will go on to training. Now the whole process can take, I've put there up to 12 months to complete, uh, it can actually take somewhat longer. I know some people have been waiting for 18 months. So you obviously need to have a degree of, um, a degree of patience because this can take a long time. So be aware of that from the offset. Now, the six key qualities are essential and you must be able to demonstrate these not just on the application form but also during every single stage of the selection process. You must be of good character, it goes without saying, but you must be of good character. You must be able to understand people and understand society, understand the people that you are dealing with and that you are judging on. You must also be an effective communicator. You must have social awareness and that basically means having an awareness of what's going on in the community in which you're serving as a magistrate because if you don't understand the, um, the community and the society then how can you judge and how can you give a balanced view and opinion on things. You obviously have to be mature and you must be of sound temperament. You must be able to give sound judgment 
and also as previously stated a level of commitment and reliability now the scoring criteria for becoming a magistrate well basically good character and commitment will be assessed as either demonstrated or not demonstrated so there's no shades of gray with these you need to give these two direct consideration you either have those or you don't obviously if you don't then you won't progress through to the next stage now the other four qualities are scored and assessed as follows level zero is basically that you didn't demonstrate them with little or no positive evidence level one means that it was demonstrated generally positive level two means that it was well demonstrated and you provided positive evidence and level three means that it was very well demonstrated very strong evidence provided and a key word in all of that is evidence being able to show evidence of where you match each individual area that is being assessed so how would you do that well basically on the application form during the first interview you would need to provide detail of each specific area so if um, the panel said you join the first interview provide us with details on how you are socially aware what have you done to make sure that you are socially aware and you could come back and provide evidence of where you have actually worked in the community now that might be working um, at a school event um, at a charity day or maybe even working in a charity shop um, giving up your time for say an hour during the weekend and just on that um, point of working in the community I strongly advise that you get some form of experience of working in your community because then you will understand the needs and the problems within society that you're going to be assessing people on okay for some more tips please visit the website www.magistrateapplication.co.uk thank you very much for listening